holes. So, um, what we have here is a chair that will fit a bariatric patient up to a weight of 50 stone. We have a very strong, solid frame uh, underneath the, uh, the softer materials here, and the leg rest itself has been tested to weights of 25 stone uh, independently. So, very, very strong uh, uh, engineering that you can be confident in. So, what we're going to do is take you through some of the things that we can adjust on the fly um, on this chair without the need for specialist tools and or specialist engineers coming out to you and, and making those changes. So first and foremost, let's look at seat width. So at the moment on this chair, if you can believe it, this is actually the chair at its narrowest setting, which is 28 inches across. Now, if we need to widen that chair um, for a patient, we can simply twist open uh, on either side, a knob on either side at the rear of the chair, which allows us to pull out and then tighten at a width to suit. Now, what we're eventually at is 32 inches in width now, which should really accommodate any um, bariatric patient here in the UK capable of coming into and out of a rise and recline chair. The second thing that we are able to do here is remove the arms from the chair on either side, as with the rest of the chairs in the Lento range. Um, two major benefits here. It allows us to adjust the arm height from six to nine inches in height and anywhere in between simply by the simple pin lock mechanism here. And once we've achieved that desired height, we can slip the arm back in. The other major benefit here of being able to remove the arm on either side is of course accessible side transfers. So we'll just pop the arm, in fact, let's just pop the arm to the side and I can demonstrate next if I just tilt the chair this way, we have the ability to adjust the depth of the base of the seat here by a total of six inches. We have seven selectable holes here for this particular nut and bolt assembly. We have the same thing on the far side of the chair and that will enable us to have maximum uh, adjustability in the seat depth and as I say, six inches in total. So let's just bring the chair back and we can simply slide the arm back in. If we then come round to the rear of the chair here, if we look at the level of adjustability here, we can adjust seat height as a starting point. How do we do that? Very simple. The rear of the chair the, in its entirety is magnetized and the three cushions that we have in this lateral waterfall setup each have their own metal bar allowing it to connect to any part of the rear of the chair. So if we come across a rarity in the bariatric market which is a taller patient then we can simply flip the cushion and attach the magnet giving us an additional four inches in head height should we need it. The other major benefit of magnets is that we have the ability to remove any of these cushions, swap the order of the cushions. Um, and one typical scenario may be we have a bariatric patient with a prominent gluteal shelf. As a result, perhaps we can remove this cushion entirely or perhaps raise it to accommodate uh, and give a little bit more space there. Um, one of the other major benefits, of course, um, in that flexibility and adjustability is also from an infection control perspective. We have no Velcro on the back of this chair. We don't even have press studs. It's simply magnets, which is a lovely flat surface for, for wiping clean. Um, so if you'd like to see the chair up close and personal, be very happy to bring the chair to you wherever you are in the UK. Um, it would be my pleasure to, to demonstrate the chair and perhaps even try some of the patients that you may have in mind for it. Uh, be delighted to hear from you. Any further questions, by all means, do get in touch with us. You can get us on email or phone call. But thank you very much for watching.